Hey, hey folks, it's Antar, and I am back with a new black and white friend battle. Uh, my opponent today is High in Fiber 21, uh, who's an excellent battler, an excellent commentator. You should totally, totally go check out his channel. Um, he's already put up uh, his version of this battle. He did it like two weeks ago. Yeah, I'm a little slow. Um, but yeah, you should totally go check out his channel, and this is a really good match, uh, in my opinion at least. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Um, <clears throat> He goes ahead and sends out his Landalos, um, one of the genie Pokemon, and the only one that you can actually really RNG, um, in my, uh, from what I understand at this point, since the other two are roamers and it gets really complicated with the roamers. Anyway, uh, he uses Earthquake first turn against my Donphan, my Peanut, um, and I go ahead and set up a Stealth Rock and take that Earthquake pretty well. I mean. Uh, more than 50% HP. So anyway, now I get off a 4x effective Ice Shard, um, and I'm wondering whether it's going to kill it, but I don't think so, because I think these genies are pretty bulky, and indeed it survives with mm, maybe, what, a third HP? Maybe a fourth, I don't know. Um, but anyway, he Earthquakes me again and gets me down to, um, down into the red, um, and so then he goes ahead and withdraws and sends out his, uh, Verizion, um, <clears throat> I'm really curious where you get these in game. Um, I mean, I'm. It's obviously easy enough to look up, but uh, I guess they're called the Three Musketeers, and they're kind of interesting. Anyway, Ice Shard is super effective against this guy, but it doesn't hurt too much. I guess this thing must have a hell of a lot of defenses. Again, I just haven't seen it around too much. Um, so anyway, I call my Peanut back and send in my Human, predicting um, that is my Embor. Uh, I'm predicting a grass type move, and indeed he uses Giga, Giga Drain, which would have easily killed my um, <clears throat> my Don fan, but it doesn't do too much to human, so I'm pretty confident I'm going to be able to kill it. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, still got a little bit of phlegm in my throat. Uh, that was probably too much information. So some boring leftovers recovery on both of our ends. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a flame charge, which turns out was really, really stupid, um, because he has two Pokemon that could have flash fire. And so obviously he switches in his Chandelure, um, which is just gonna give him a flash fire boost. And I just feel like a complete idiot. Um, there, are, there were much safer moves that I could have done. Um, so now he's gonna get off a Shadow Ball, which is gonna hit me pretty hard, but Embor is pretty darn bulky, and so I think I should be able to survive. Uh, and indeed, I survived with 67 HP. That's kind of amazing. And so now I use Head Smash, which might not have been the best idea because of the recoil. Um, so yeah, I do take out a Chandelure, no problem. Um, but the question is how much recoil am I gonna take, and the answer is enough to kill me. So, um, I have sacrificed my, uh, Embor for his Chandelure, and I don't know that I'm 100% happy with that trade. Um, I go ahead and send out my Rotom on the blind switch, um, and I'm not really fearing his Landalos at this point. Um, it must be Scarfed, since it, um, just used Earthquake and outsped me. Um, that was a mistake on his part, uh, he, that he readily admits. Um, but anyway, I'm able to KO with an with a hidden power grass, um, so that's pretty happy. <clears throat> Next out hit for him is that Verizion again. He didn't quite realize what hidden power I was using, I figure, um, and you know, grass type against uh, my water type is not a bad choice. Uh, I go ahead and use the hidden power ice, wondering whether it's going to KO. It turns out it actually doesn't do that much. Um, I guess, you know, it's not stab. Uh, so that kind of makes sense, um, but I was just really hoping it would do more than that. Um, so anyway, he gets off um, quite a bit of recovery there, um, and so I'm obviously going to have to switch out on this next turn, um, <clears throat> since my Rotom is, uh, has a Choice Scarf. Uh, I'm debating switching that Choice Scarf out for Leftovers, but if I did that, I think like half my team would end up carrying Leftovers. Um, anyway, uh, gets off a Giga Drain on my on the switch. Um, Dave, my uh, Reunculus, survives, but it's a crit, and I'm just like, oh man, seriously. Um, so at this point, <clears throat> at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and calm mind. Oh, oh yeah. So he goes ahead and Leaf Blades. I didn't realize he was running a mixed set, 
Um, which, you know, makes sense. I I guess, you know, Bergeons uh, usually run mixed sets? I don't know. I, again, I haven't seen them off, around too often. Um, but so I get off a Calm Mind, which turns out not to have been the best idea, and so now I'm just really hoping that I can survive another Leaf Blade um, so that I can recover off the damage. Um, and indeed, I survive with 11 HP. That is that is awesome, Dave. That is totally, totally awesome. Uh Ranunculus, when it does well, does extremely, extremely well. So I'm back up to half HP, and he goes ahead and Stone Edge is not exactly sure why. Um, you know, it has less power after you take into account Stab, but I think maybe he was hoping for the crit. Um, anyway, after one Calm Mind, that Psycho Shock should be enough to kill him. Uh, and yeah, as you see, it does. So I've taken down that version, which is really good, because I just didn't know how I was going to deal with it otherwise. Um, next up for him is a Galade, which I'm like, why would you send out a Galade? That's kind of strange. Um, and the reason is because he carries Shadow Sneak. Um, so that's going to be enough to kill me. Um, <clears throat> I really wish, uh, Ranunculus learned Stockpile or Cosmic Power, I guess. Um, Shinbora, I'm not exactly... I don't remember its English name. Maybe that is its English name. I don't know. The Flying Guy. I think that one learns uh, Cosmic Power. Um, but the Flying type introduces too many weaknesses for my, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, um, I'm really surprised here that my Shadow Ball does not KO. But the thing that people don't remember about Gallade, and I'm pretty sure I've said this before, is that Gallade is just as bulky as Gardevoir. has the same defenses. So, um, and a lot more defenses on the special side. Uh, so, yeah, he takes me out, uh, it makes, you know, <clears throat> that's what my hubris gets me. And so now I send out my peanut, and I'm gonna go ahead and ice shard this guy. Um, if he'd shadow sneak me, I think he would, I mean, he would have almost certainly outsped me. Um, but I'm really surprised here ice shard doesn't kill him. I mean, that thing just won't die. I can't believe I'm being swept by a freaking Gallade. Um... Yeah, Drain Punch is an amazing move on Gallade, as you've seen on my doubles slash triples team. Um, it doesn't have the best power, but you just recover your stats right on back. Uh, so anyway, with not too many options left, I have to send in Jane, um, which is my uh, Aselgor. I take a Shadow Sneak, which is unfortunate, um, but even more unfortunate is what's going to happen next. He's got like 1 HP, and I have to use my Bug Gem uh, to use Bug Buzz. Uh, I really think I'm just going to swap that out for a Leftovers. Yeah, it's, here's what I mean about, like, half my team is going to end up carrying Leftovers. Um, because it's just, you know, Bug Gem is just not that useful of an item. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call Jane back uh, as he sends out his uh, Steel Bug type. I don't actually remember its name, I'm sorry. Um, I always see it as FOR SPARTA! Anyway, uh, he goes ahead and Iron Heads me, which is going to break my Air Balloon. Um, and that's a little bit sad, but I don't think uh, anyone left on his team is going to, you know, try to Earthquake me. I think he's actually down to only two uh, two Pokemon left, this and, this and an Arcanine. So I go ahead and set up a sub, um, because he can't switch out. He's a Steel-type, and I've got the, um, the Magnet Pole. And so I go ahead and Hidden Power Fire this guy, um, and I'm not sure if it's going to kill him on, uh, after one turn, uh, but if it doesn't, it'll kill him after two. Uh, and it does, in fact, kill him off on one, um, I don't think it was a crit, uh, so that's kind of awesome. And now he sends out his last Pokemon, uh, PETA, uh, his Arcanine. PETA stands for Pain in the Ass, and, uh, I'm about to find out why. Um, so I've got two Pokemon left, um, Magnezone and a Selgor, uh, and I'm just thinking that I, I, I'm thinking that this match is in the bag, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to kill it. Um, but it takes my Thunderbolt pretty well. I mean, Arcanine, I usually run offensive sets when I use Arcanine, so I just couldn't believe, um, I couldn't believe how well it took my Thunderbolt. Uh, so it breaks my sub with a Heat Wave, which isn't surprising, but I'm faster, uh, which is actually also surprising because, um, <clears throat> Arcanines tend to be pretty fast. But I'm just not killing this thing, and that's not really good. And of course, it carries the Morning Sun, so that's going to recover at 50% HP. Um, and I'm just starting to wonder whether I can actually win this. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> so he's got the leftovers. He's got the he's got the recovery. He can just probably stall me out. But I'm actually hoping for a crit here, um, because or not a yeah either a crit or Parahax, um, because that would be awesome. Uh, I'm also hoping that his heat waves would miss because heat wave only has what 90% accuracy, and I've had tons of heat waves miss on my end. Um, 
mostly in Gen 4 though, but his Heat Wave doesn't miss and takes out my Roomba. Um, and he's down to pretty low HP here, um, but I'm not sure about uh, what's coming up here. I send out Jane, and I know that it's going to resist. Uh, it's going to resist um, a bug buzz. So I've got to go ahead and use the final gambit, uh, previously known as Death Gambit, or Death Gamble, I think. Uh, and basically what I've done is I've forced the draw. Um, which is interesting, this, is, this part's really interesting because uh, at the actual game it says that I won, but here in the recording it says that I lost. So, uh, kind of interesting how the game handles draw situations where... Um, both Pokemon are taken out on the last turn, but 0-0 victory or loss, whatever you want to call it, uh, good game, and I hope you enjoyed.